Wow. Uh, so that's between 50, that's about $50 at the moment still. What's up guys and welcome back to another epic unboxing. I'm present Talos actually, and we're actually gonna be flipping over to past Talos in my old house, in my old transitional studio, I guess, before I moved out here. And of course, I didn't get a chance to re-upload this ahead of schedule. A lot of things were, were happening. Some good stuff was happening. A lot of collabs was happening. I had to kind of push this one to the back burner, but I still want to release this video. It was still pretty damn epic. So definitely tune in for that because there's some epic cards in this set of Burst of Destiny. Now, originally Burst of Destiny came out November 5th, 2021, a long, long time ago and craziness. It's already 2024, almost around that time frame, literally three years ago. Okay, not quite literally, but you get, you get the idea. It's almost there. But regardless, there's some epic cards still in this set featuring those Starlight Rares. So let's talk about those high values. Number one is the Elemental Hero, Stratos, Starlight Rare. And this one, of course, is $182.67. The second highest, of course, is the Incredible SSC, the Virtuous, I believe, Starlight Rare, of course, at $112.13. And the third highest being the Soul Soul Grandmaster, being at $92 and 62 cents so still some great items there we have yet to pull any of those starlight rares so you never know what's gonna happen in this video obviously it happened to pass i know about it and i guess we're flipping over to that past towels and of course never mind the terrible background and probably terrible audio because i was still doing the one camera setup thing and yeah some people didn't like it so i apologize you know present towels to those present watching but anyway press a like for luck now back to past towels. So yes, join me of course in this video is my buddy, Mr. Bear. What's up, man? Hey, how's it going guys? All right, so obviously we opened this once before back in 2021, I believe. If I have, it should be linked over there. If not, ignore my finger waving around the air. <laughs> but we're gonna be opening essentially everything that's in here and we actually have old blisters as well old blisters as well but enough for rambling let's get into burst of destiny all right this is an old blister first edition Ooh, we like first edition maybe we can pull a starlight rare i don't think we pulled any starlight rares of burst of destiny so it'll be nice to kind of like do that right here and right now um we will do transonic bird Danger, disturbance, disorder. I remember that card. We have the uh, Night Sword Serpent. The Brave Drive. Now, the one thing you definitely will notice about these cards, it feels like it's slightly faded compared to the, I guess, more of the 2023 sets, but it is an older card. And you definitely will see cards faded out as years go on. Um, especially like, uh, I don't know, if you, if you still have the original 2002 cards as, as an example. I was looking at those cards and I was like, wow, this card is so faded. It, al it almost looks fake, but I'm hoping it's not. <laughs> but um, it, but yeah, it, it's one of those things. Um, all right, we do pull something cool here. This is a ultra rare. Is the Soul, St Soul Supreme Severance? Or I don't know, whatever. Uh, Ching Ying, I think. Ultra rare. It looks very, very pretty. Uh, Synchro Summon. Ah, the answer to the universe. And also $3.04. Very nice. Not too shabby. Yeah, that's a, that's a great way to start. That's for sure. So let's, uh, let's do something from the, the box here. Let's pull it from the box. And let us see what we get. We're going to be pulling all these cards. So it's probably going to be a longer video. So definitely grab your popcorn grab it grab a dubby <laughs> grab a dubby <laughs> not sponsored but obviously we do love our dubbies we do love our dubbies speaking of dubby um did you did you get your your dubby stuff liam uh i i need to go and check my little p.o box uh as i do have a little red letter of something that uh, is posted to this oh, to pick up yeah so oh, okay, fingers no crossed worries. man fingers crossed because you know I, I i'm looking yeah, so, forward to um, sporting it 
Well, no, this is a, uh, I think for the, the, the taste stuff, I don't think your, your other stuff has arrived yet, like the, the hat and stuff. I, I, my hat arrived already, but of course, uh, yours might still be pending, possibly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I've, yeah. I've seen the satchels uh, and they do, look, they do look nice. They do, they do. All right, so our, our card here is a super rare, the Sioux ship. Did they make a return? The sushi ship, uni class super dreadnought. Look at the sushi. I love the sushi suggestion of the of a, of a theme, man. That is a not so delicious twenty nine cents. It kind of brings us back, to, like almost nostalgic for us because that's kind of like one of our original sets we opened up in this channel. So that's kind of like pretty cool that uh, I can enjoy this unboxing with Liam. But yeah, this is a funny card. You remember this one? Laundry trap. <laughs> Laundry. Uh, yeah, we, we had a lot. We had a lot of fun with that with that card in the original opening. It's just comedy to feed off as well by the names. Mm-hmm. The night flight. The apex of predation, and a super rare of. Uh, reptilian ramification number 60. Looks cool though. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna see that. A little too bad, 23 cents, buddy. Yeah, for super rare, I guess that's decent. Still not sleeve worthy for, for our perspective. All right, let's go back to a blister now. And guys, if you also do watch our uh, earlier um, uh, Burst of Destiny, like, I definitely missed my old setup because I had a beautiful setup in the background. I'm currently in my temporary recording area because um, you know I'm moving, so I can't actually record in that studio. But I'm very, very excited. Liam knows this, of course, that my new studio is gonna be pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Um, at least it will be amazing. I haven't even thought about the, the floor plan, but I get that. You, you get the idea. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> but uh, yeah. We get Danger Disturbance Disorder. Danger! <laughs> Transonic Bird. But I'm definitely very excited to move. Like, um, we, we actually, we, uh, we plan on closing, um, I think sometime in October, I think? Um, so um, early November, we should be actually moving to our new destination. And what I love about this new uh, destination is the fact that it's uh, a little bit more private area which i which i definitely enjoy a lot more secure you know better school community for for hunter when he gets old enough and um yeah uh, and then we pull a super rare here supernatural danger zone uh, the zone is 15 cents 15 cents so yeah but um yeah like uh, overall the community that we're moving into is going to be quite quite amazing like um Liam, obviously when he was here in the u.s he saw how it is it's like super high elevation right so we get a nice view of the strip as well so yeah liam definitely i think he uh, he definitely saw it for sure uh, i'm hoping that you can you can get some beautiful uh, drone shots at some point for your own personal views oh yeah definitely uh detonation code we have the uh earth sarkic drytron dry, dry, dry i think Threshold Borg. That transonic bird makes a return. <laughs> We're definitely seeing a lot of duplicates already. Already. The the Gold Knight. The DD Assault Carrier. The Mimicking Man-Eater Bug. Non-Hollow. And we do have a super rare here. The Flow Wander Breeze and the Dreaming Town number 74. Also bursts. <laughs> Spectacular name, but uh, 24 cents. <laughs> <laughs> 24 cents. So nothing stu super spectacular, that's for sure. Let's do another burst of destiny from the box. Oh, another one from the box. <laughs> <laughs> another one from the box? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe you did that, man. I can't believe you did that. All right, now it's gonna be stuck on some, pe some people's heads uh, that are watching. We have the Flow Wonder Breeze and Siri. I think, or Stiri. Starry Night Orbital. 
the Penguin Ninja. Oops, two cards there. Uh, we have Feng, uh, Feng Yi, I think. The Outstanding Dog Mary, the cute doggy. The cute doggy. Oh, the uh, mm. ball of fluff. Yeah, the giant starfall. Some the the sous ship carrier, a carrier that's carrying sushi. Sushi, haha, <laughs> sushi me. <laughs> we gotta break the destiny. And a super rare here, the Sunvine Stowing. Sunvine Stowing. That is twenty eight cents, my friend. All right, back to a blister. A burst of destiny. Hope you guys are en enjoying this. Uh, this, this look back at 2021. We, we've been kind of getting into uh, not just opening modern cards, but like, I guess older cards. Now, granted, we could be opening even older cards, but um, it, it just kind of depends on what makes sense for the business and making sure we don't go bankrupt on the, on the, along the way. Um, but we do, we do have that in the back of our minds that we do want to open up some of these older sets from prior years, um, but I guess time will tell, guys. Time will tell. We have the Soul Soul Blackout. And that also includes the Pokemon side as well. So if you guys are into that, definitely subscribe and like. So we're definitely seeing some duplicates here, which is why I'm kind of going through these pretty quickly. The the Flip Fours of Frozen. The Cyanide Cross Wipe. The Cyanide Cup Cascade. The Magic Key Battle. And a Super uh, Rare. I think this is actually still decent for Super Rare. Uh, branded in Red, number 57. I think. Maybe above 50 cents. Hey, that is a very sweet $1.43 card, my friend. So that's good. That's good. Yeah, for, for Super Rare, that, 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 the, the real, only reason why I know that is because uh, it's actually a decent card in, uh, for, for a lot of duelists. All right, let us go back into the box of boosters. That is Burst. <laughs> Booster. <laughs> Booster. I don't know why I see these words sometimes. Ten twisters. I, I, why, why am I talking like uh, Yoda? <laughs> <laughs> why is one one is? <laughs> All right, we have the disorder again. So much disorder. Uh, the blackout. The night sword serpent. The brave drive. The penguin uh, cleric. The, the cross wipe. The giant starfall. The assessment of the sword soul. And we finally get a ultra rare. We haven't seen one in this while. This is a um, Bored Col Code Dragon, number 50, a Link Summon. Looks really cool, actually. It's a pretty cool card. It's 57 cents, man. That's nice. Wow, ultra rare, that's 57 <laughs> cents. That is terrible. That is terrible. <laughs> Now we normally, like I said before, don't really open this many packs for you guys. That's why our video for this particular video is gonna be super long. But um, I just had to like kind of open up some of the old, these older cards because I just can't be carrying all these cards to my uh, like unopened cards for that matter into into the new house. Could I keep it sealed? Sure, but it technically wasn't even sealed. So um, if it was completely unopened, one hundred percent, then yeah, I'll probably keep it in the box and just kind of hoard it for, I don't know, my son to sell it, I don't know, <laughs> when he's older. But um, yeah, I think for now, um, I'll, I'll, I'll just open up some of these earlier, because I still have like uh, Brothers of Legends to open up, as well as uh, the Legendary Duelist Synchro Storm, which I'm not super excited about the Synchro Storm one, uh, because it's one of those sets that we talked about in a, another prior video. Probably, it might be already live, but we talked about the Essentially, the, uh, the the how legendary duelist sets haven't been um, worthy of a lot of collectors or, or even duelists, and they just, they just have like lackluster cards, similar to this one, uh, the Scary Sea at number seventy-five. It's probably worth eighteen cents. Watch 
How close am I, Liam? 21 cents. <laughs> Ooh, so close. <laughs> so close. I didn't go over though. I didn't go over. Um, all right, let's go into the next set here. Let's do a blister actually, a burst of destiny. We still have, I think, three more blisters. Well, two more after this. Aha, ba 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 blister. I normally don't like blisters because the fact that you have to do this, it was like, it's so annoying. I think the uh, the newer ones though are a lot better. Like the ones right here for uh, uh, Duelist Nexus. I actually really like this. It's like the Pokemon style ones. So uh, I think they, uh, they emulated how Pokemon uh, d does their, uh, their blisters. Because I think Pokemon's been doing that for a couple of years now, right? I, they've always had uh, a decent set of blisters, to be honest with you. Um, seeing the blisters that uh, over there in America, like they do differ from the blister packs that uh, we have here. Uh, for example, I will go and pull a example out right quick, just out of nowhere. With the power of editing, it will be a jump. <laughs> out of nowhere. <laughs> Yeah, we have the uh, Penguin Ninja. The Laundry Trap. The Penguin Celtic. The Outstanding Dog. The Giant Starfall. So definitely a lot of uh, duplicates here. And we do get a super rare of the, um, the Ro Ro Robina. A number that's lucky for some. Uh, 42 cents. <laughs> that's actually not that bad for super rare actually not that bad um yeah if you want to show off your what you were talking about yeah so uh our blister packs are kind of like this and uh, they also do some other ones like this one as well that have uh, sometimes these blisters or these sets i call, i think of them more as super blisters because this blister pack, as it were, has three packs of Pokemon cards and a uh, a, p a pin as well. See, I like. I don't think Yu-Gi-Oh even does that. I don't even know why they don't. No, no, it, it it is weird. And yet, the next example I've got in front of the camera is a blister pack that has one pack of uh, Pokemon cards, but through but uh, a, a flip coin amongst it as well. So. You know, you get seemingly more over here than you do for your blister packs in America, which is weird. Yeah, I guess they don't want to copy them directly. That's probably why it took them so long to uh, emulate the, the blisters that we have now for, for Yu-Gi-Oh. But it's been, I think it's recent though. I think it was like uh, since Wild Survivors, I think. I don't think, they had, I don't think they had it prior to that. But it is what it is. But yeah, we're seeing a lot of duplicates, which is why I'm kind of going through these pretty quickly, pretty quickly. Beautiful. Okay, anyway, <laughs> we have the ultimate um, flagship Ursatron, which probably is worth not much at number 40. A very, very disappointing 14 cent. I mean, come on. It's, I can at least it's, add it to my collection. It's called flagship, you know, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Even though this set did come out in uh, in 2021, I think it was, um, they still got these uh, cards in um, these packs or whatever in uh, like hobby shops that I go to for uh, we play games that I go to. And I'm like, wow, you keep, you're, you're still keeping some older cards, man. And it shows that some people are just not super interested in, in um, this set, which is, you know, that's probably why they still have it in stock. Or potentially the store itself ordered a bit too much and it just can't sell all of it uh, when it, it was originally released. And also too, it came out in 2021, which a lot of people were just not willing to go out. Um, so that's probably another, I guess, carrier there. Um, and the, uh, the effects of the pandemic and people just working from home or just, I guess, afraid to be outside sometimes. I mean, you have to take into account, uh, do you remember the evergreen shipping incident that was a few years ago? 
Mm, I don't remember. Uh, we do have a super rare here, um, the Hellbringer Hog at number 18. Uh, that is 18 cents, my friend. So when uh, Egypt's area had its channel blocked by a evergreen uh, freighter ship, it blocked off a channel that was a major shipping area that caused disruption for Pokemon delivery and many other products throughout uh, throughout Europe, really. And it caused a delay, and I think it was around the Pokemon... Like, just before Pokemon Go time that it really kind of affected us because we had seen that America had plenty of it but because uh, Europe had that uh, channel being blocked uh, Europe had none of it. I think it. Pokemon Go came out I think Pokemon Go came out in 2018 though before the pandemic. Okay so let's see I'm trying to think what set it might have actually been from though then that we had missed out on mm. at the time. Possibly. Yeah, I kind of lost my train of thought with the, uh, yeah. It's all good, it's all good. We do have the uh, Amazement Assistant Delia though. Um, super rare. A little cutie, a little cutie. This is number 20. Uh, that is uh, 20 cents. Uh, that's weird. So far we've had a number 18 for 18 and number 20 for 20. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. I wonder why. All right, guys, we are finishing off with the Burst of Destiny. We have five packs, actually, uh, six packs left. Four blis uh, f uh, two blisters and four of from the pack itself. Let's see if we can finish strong with some cool cards from 2021. This nostalgic trip has been actually kind of nice to see some of the more memorable cards. And we could, we, could also, we could also talk about some of the uh, earlier memories as well in this channel. So it's kind of like a bit nostalgic for us here in another. Because um, we, we essentially started um, right here, well, in this house, but still in a different room. Where um, we were doing, we were just kind of like kind of playing around with some of these booster sets. And we got a lot of cards. We were, we, I think our first major set was Ghost from the Past, the, the very first one. And uh, wow, we got... I think we got a case and half of those cards. That was probably the most cards I ever pulled in my life. <laughs> in my life. Um, we did end up pulling two Ghost Rares, so that was pretty amazing. But nevertheless, um, it was not sustainable at all as a business because we were losing more money than definitely making. And cool, we pulled a secret rare as we talked about Ghosts from the Past. This is a uh, uh, soul, soul, uh, soul. I can't say that word right. So, sword, soul, sword, soul, Grandmaster, Chinks, Chinks, Song. I think <laughs> number forty-one. Regardless, number forty-one. Very, very pretty card. Secret rare. Wow, that's that's been the most uh, most expensive so far, my friend. At uh, four dollars and eighty four cents, good stuff. Not too shabby at all. All right, let's do another booster box one, and then we can probably do the last two blisters. But yeah, definitely a nostalgic trip for us as well. But uh, cool. And also back at back on those early days uh, of our YouTube journey with unboxings, like uh, we were just kind of like uh, I think we only we were only doing Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't think we did Pokemon back then. Did we recently do Pokemon? Uh, I, I can't remember. I, I think it was uh, originally more of the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, and then kind of uh, it kind of progressed towards having a more ratio towards uh, a, a balance of uh, the two genres. Yeah, and uh, that was also the, the day before um, uh, Liam ever had a webcam as well. Like we never, sh we, ne we never saw his face on camera, um, and that only happened um, recently. I think we we started showing your face um, more so. I think the start of last year or middle of last year, maybe. Now we and we were, we already saw this car too, by the way. So we're gonna go ahead and skip it. Um, but yeah, I think this is before. I think at that time, like we didn't show your face at all, but I'm trying to remember when your first face reveal, I guess, happened <laughs> as we opened this blister. Uh, uh, 
I think it would have been because uh, we, we did do a little bit with uh, the the DSLR camera, but it was still pretty much uh, using my hands. As, uh, I was a hand tuber. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, was a, I was a hand tuber. <laughs> that is true. That is true. I do remember that. I do remember that. <laughs> Oh man, the, the 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 early days of YouTube, man. I'm telling. Well, not even early days of YouTube, but the early days of our unboxing division, I guess. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God, good times, man. Good times. Such good fun. We had to. We we still have some amazing polls. Yeah, we did. Like, uh, but it's also kind of weird too because when when I watch those earlier videos, even though we had a better background and all that jazz, like I, I feel like it still felt like. I don't know. I, like, if it still feels old and retro, I don't know what it is. Like, uh, <laughs> um, like it doesn't feel like. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we were less confident. Like, I don't know. I mean, it's I kind of hard to uh, explain it. I mean, I can definitely say that for me for sure because I was still kind of because I wasn't coming in with a uh, YouTuber esque kind of background of doing videos and stuff like that so when it come down to coming through personality wise through the camera it was I know it's not exactly easy to do that by just uh, being hands and then seeing uh, you know what I'm opening but being able to mm -hmm. talk and come to convey myself is uh, you know gotten better over time and had now switching over to having the face you definitely have you definitely have yeah you definitely have man like like if, if you watch earlier videos of Liam now, yeah, it's definitely night and day. And with that, we do pull a ultra rare. So this is actually, a, I assume a decent card. Um, the Beat Trooper Descent at number 89. And that is 35 cents, my friend. All right, Beat Troopers are not so great apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Weevil Underwood would still be proud. Yeah, exactly. All right, guys, last blister here. Last blister here. Um, some people actually have better luck with blisters. I, like I, I, I'm, in, I'm in a couple of like forums for like different, uh, you know, collectors. Uh, I don't know if I said it's so weird. Collectors, and um, and uh, they, they say they get better luck pulling cards with blisters. But for me, I feel like you get better luck with booster boxes. You do have a better ratio in terms of getting a good card. But um, I think what some people do is like. They, um, maybe after work or after school, they'll like buy a couple of blisters and they just get good luck from that apparently. But I don't know, recently though, at least, at least for our session right here, we haven't pulled anything super great from blisters, but maybe this one does. Press a like for luck. All right. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, definitely nostalgic trips, man. Like, um, but I don't know what it is too. I think, I think the reason why I feel like those older um, sets that we opened in that other studio was um, it just feels like retro is because like uh, we, we I look super young like like even though it was only three years ago uh, from from this from this recording like it just felt like I was young I don't know I don't it, 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 I guess I get, I get a little bit of a cringe when I watch it as well it's like Wow, I look so young and I and I bet three years from now um, I'll, I'll look at this video and be like Wow, this this goofball. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we <laughs> we we already pulled this card as well, so we're not even gonna price that one. All right, guys. Last two packs. Let's do this. Liam, left side or right side? Left side. Left side. <laughs> now, I I also still watch even my earlier videos because obviously before we me and Liam did unboxings or whatever. I used to be pretty big on like uh, video games. I, I still am. I, I'm, I've just been so busy to play video games nowadays, especially with my son Hunter and also my 14,000 businesses that I run. <laughs> so I, I don't have the time to play video games as I normally would. But um, in this channel, I, I watch my older content of that, those game footages and I'm super young, man. Like my <laughs> hair is like super, super short. Like, like oh my God, it's like, Super young, man. Oh my god. But I've been doing this for a very long time, guys. Before I, I, I even like was talking to videos about Liam, like even before Riven, like uh, because it, long time viewers of Riven. Um, but uh, yeah, even before then, definitely watch those earlier videos if you want uh, a bit of cringe. 
<laughs> and the final card here is a ultra rare of a Beat Trooper light flapper. Well, we, tend, we, we do have one more pack actually, so it's not the final card per se. Uh, but 86 is this one, number 86. And the centering is terrible, by the way. Top to, top to bottom, the centering is terrible. Yeah, 86 off the menu, it's 18 cents. <laughs> 18 cents, yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's not even gradable because of the centering is terrible. All right, guys, final pack. Press a like for luck and hope you guys enjoy this longer video. Definitely, definitely. Uh, it, it's been fun for us, kind of like, uh, you know, take a take a trip down memory lane because the, the the last video I did where I opened up earlier packs of 2020, it was kind of good that I did it by myself solo, so that way I can talk about a little bit of that journey. But now that 2021 is here, um, pack wise, we can talk about stuff with Liam. All right, we have the Royal Penguin Garden, the Cupid Pitch, the Sword Soul Blackout. Can we pull something cool for the very last? Danger Disturbance Disorder. Uh, Gemini's Lord Gold Knight. The Rebuild Deer. The Reptilian Coil. The Gunship Suship Uni. And the final card is, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately a super rare at Magic Heathene Transfermite at number 44. Let, let me guess, uh, Liam, this is uh, 22 cents. Oh, you are off by one cent, 21 cents. So, good. Ah, I'm over though, I'm over, I'm over. <laughs> but it's, it's fine, it's fine, I busted. But nevertheless, that was also a bust for the final pack, and my battery is actually about to die, so it's a good thing that our intro, our outro is here. But yeah, guys, we're back to present Talos. Hope you guys enjoyed Burst of Destiny. If you guys enjoyed Burst of Destiny, you want to see some more past-related content from my old studio, I guess, my transitional studio, or even my previous studios, check out this video right here of Proton Hypernova. Now, that was, of course, some epic openings there as well, potentially. My name's Talos. See you next time. Peace.